Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Deceased Craft. We are in an unfamiliar location at the moment because um, I, I called Lauren, said, hey, do you mind giving me a ride to approximately very far away so that we can experience what it's like when we encounter the, the higher tier zombies that we find further away from spawn? So, um, yeah, gave, gave Lauren a call. Lauren was like, heck yeah, I would be happy to help. And so here we are, um, very far away. And we're not in a wasteland, but there are the freaking the wasteland horses and stuff like that are here. Um, that's something. Oh, wait, did you guys see a sea bunny? I can't exactly take the sea bunny back with me, though, is the issue, because we're a little bit, we're a little bit far away. And also, what if the sea bunny dies? And then you guys are all going to be really mad at me. By the way, uh, this is just because I was making sure the chunks got all loaded and stuff uh, beforehand and things like that. Should I feel like I could fill up the gas canister? I don't think I can. Yeah, see, dude? This is actually crazy. You get far enough out and you get the, you get wasteland, dude, bros. But you get them, like, in the city. Nothing a 50 cal can't take care of. Boom. Oh god, oh god, arachnophobia beware. Holy frick, holy frick, look at that. I have not seen that guy before. Oh my goodness gracious. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to Kevin Sparkles too. To stay tuned for more Minecraft and stuff like, ooh dear, well, that's, a, that's a creepy guy right there. Well, not too hard to take down though with the old scar. Mobs, I mean zombies, still spawning correctly. They've got the stuff on them. Yeah, this is a horde building. This is a horde building. This is a horde building. So, um, in between episodes, I made a bit more ammo. I made a bit more ammo um, for the scar. Also getting, apparently, a little bit too cold. Made a bit more ammo for the scar. And um, did I make any more ammo for anything else? I think I made more ammo for something else. I just can't remember exactly what. Do we have anything in here? I wonder if there are any more tomes. This building got any more tomes by any chance? I think this is one that can have tomes. Oh God, wait, I need to like, I've had my guns so all over the place because we were in that, in the lab, um, which I think I'm gonna have to go back. Oh God, hi everybody. I think I'm gonna have to go back into the lab actually because I think they have seed oil in there and we need the seed oil to be able to, there's the tome. That's what we're talking about there. We need the seed oil in order to be able to make the potion or the, the you know, you know, the stuff that we need to do to save the world, that stuff. All right, let's see what else we got. Yeah, no, the lab is, it's bad. It's a bad place. It is a very bad place. And I'm kind of scared to go back there. like. I don't know if there is a good chance that I could end up dying again, or if maybe, you know, now that we are, don't mind me, just getting uh, getting scared by by snakes, IRL. <laughs> normally, normally I'm not scared of snakes, just to be clear. But um, you know, when I forgot that he was there, and suddenly there is a, a... hmm. Hmm, okay, well, we're just gonna not worry about, hmm. 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 I mean, everything else seemed to be working okay, but um, this couch is being a little peculiar. <laughs> like, I'm able to slay the zombies. We're not waiting for the server. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Ant Venom Raid, how is it going? How is it going? Welcome everybody uh, from MCC and stuff. What a great time. Sorry, if you're watching this on YouTube, we're, uh, we just got done with MCC and it was, uh, it was a good one. It was a very, very good time. I don't know what order this is gonna go up in, so I won't spoil it yet, just in case this goes up earlier on YouTube. Um, but it was, uh, it was a very fun showing and now, you know, honestly, what should happen probably is I feel like they should add guns to, uh, to MCC. And that would really make it super cool. We could just, instead of like sky battle and battle box being swords and bows, 
we could just do a little bit of um brap brap you know a little bit of bada bing bada boom just take people out that way i think that would be the uh, ideal way to to do it and stuff like that um okay let's see let's see what do we want to so i just i don't know specifically what it is that we're looking for out here i think there's a boss that can spawn like in the city but i don't know which one it is or if there's anything i can do to like encourage it to spawn um a little bit better uh than otherwise so hmm hmm you'd think that he would spawn you know in the middle uh oh see this is why i called lauren to uh get us over here because the server doesn't very much enjoy loading uh, new new chunks. Doesn't enjoy loading new chunks very much. So, okay, I just um, I just reminded myself, and uh, yeah. So apparently we can find resenters, but we already know that they're in the mining dimension. So it's like, well, it's probably a more effective place to find them in order to harvest them. Hey, wasteland boy! Bye, wasteland boy! Once you got the fitty cal, I feel like you're, you know, you're kind of just chilling. Goodbye. See you later. Although, just like freaking imagine. Oh god, he's he's juking. That's crazy, actually. How many bullets I was able to shoot there before it used one of my ammo? Oh god, look at it. It's so creepy. It's so creepy, bro. Ooh, god. I don't like it. I don't like it. Any, any banks around here by any chance that we could hit up? Oh, is that one of the fire dude bros? He's up on the thing somewhere. Nos? Do we nosk him? I'm just trying to think if there are any other buildings that have useful stuff that we haven't hit up yet. I mean, to be fair, obviously, like the most valuable stuff is in the wasteland, but what is in here? I haven't been in this one yet, actually. Wait, what is. Ow! God, I hit the barbed wire! Whoa, he's fishing rotting me! I have so much 50 cal ammo, I can truthfully just use it indefinitely. What is this place? I haven't actually been in this. Uh, crap? Get rid of that. This must be a. Oh, this is a car workshop area. That's what it is. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, you can find some nether bricks in there. Yeah, I hadn't actually been in this one. Kind of sick. I'm missing, 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 missing. You don't see any new zombies in this building anymore. Oh my God, dude, it's so, you can just actually crush everybody if you nosk the freaking 50 cal. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's where you could find a bunch of, like, good stuff. Okay, here's where we could have found freaking gas canisters earlier on. How did I never find one of these buildings before? They're a very, very useful one. Very useful. All the steel. Oh, my God. More gas canisters? Bro. I could have... Why did I do that? I meant to click it there. And there. Cool, cool. Big plays, big plays. Anything else uppies? Why couldn't I have found this building earlier? This building is so good. Wait, this building is so good. Oh my god. I don't necessarily need all this stuff anymore, but wow. Okay. This stuff would have been so useful early on. Oh my god. What is this, by the way? Oh, a repair kit. Well, if our cars ever get fricked up, then that's another useful thing, I guess. Yeah, no, it's probably just super rare. I'd have to imagine, because it is... Like, this is freaking super powerful, all the create stuff that you can find in here. Um kind of wondering like how are they getting the cars up here it's uh it, it doesn't seem like the most uh it doesn't seem like the easiest place to get your get your car up to um 
But I guess we don't question the physics of the whole thing. We don't question the physics of the whole thing, you know? It all, it works. It makes sense. Everything makes perfectly good sense. I can repair my cars forever now, actually. They're just perma able to be repaired. What is the penthouse going to have? Oh my god, it just has freaking mechanical crafters? It's just mechanical crafters laying around in those quantities? What is this place? What is this place? Yeah, this would have been like... This would have been the biggest pickup on the planet earlier on. Wait, is there more? Oh, this is stairs up, I see. All right, what's the penthouse? Oh, this is how they get up. <laughs> it's a very steep driveway set up here. Okay, very nice. You gotta have the lounge. Oh my God. They got the F1 car hanging out on top. Look at that. Look at the F1 car chilling. What do they have in the F1 car? Oh, some Electrum. Super fancy, super fancy stuff. Man. Oh, they also have a spawner up here. Very silly to, very silly to have next to your F1 car, but whatever. Um, anything in the drawers, anything in the drawers? Engines? Oh my God, this place is stacked. Absolutely stacked. Well, there we go, everybody. We found our new favorite building. Um. I did watch F1 qualifying earlier today, or not qualify, sorry, sprint uh, earlier today, and, um, well, you know, it did go about as, as expected, other than, oh, there's an underground, that makes sense, you know, parking garage for a car building, oh, God, oh, God, I need to reload, okay, hold on a moment, I got freaking fancy spiders, other than there was a standout, Danny Rick, popping off, popping off. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, here we go. What's down in here? What's down in the parking garage? Oh, oh, they got the, oh, they got the fancy car. What the frick? They got the fancy car display down here. Oh my God, we've entered, we've entered the Ferrari dealership, everybody. Even, even fancier than the penthouse, right? Look at these, look at these. I'll take the anvil, sure, why not? Is it a nice anvil? I don't know if it's a nice anvil. Eh, it's a damaged anvil, but what, what can you do? A lounge area. This is like the dream, right? To just have a place where you got like the lounge, you know, you got the ping pong table, you got the foosball, maybe even a little half pipe or something. You just have the, got the cars on display next to it. If you're gonna have a half pipe, probably the cars have to be kind of separate from that because that's a little hazardous, but man, man, that'd be pretty. Oh, wait, hold on. They they have, they, I, I have to vandalize really quick. One sec, don't worry, I'll put it back together, but I do have to vandalize for more Electrum that I may or may not actually end up using. Um, okay, don't, don't worry, putting, putting the car back together. Putting the car back together. Um, that one, does that have a thing in it? No, no, nah, no stowage space here. It's just the, you know, we got the mono over here as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty awesome. Well, balls. Don't worry, we're okay. Don't drop down on my head. Freaking... How dare you? How dare you just go and infect me like that? Okay, anything else? Anything else? Man, big boys over here. Big boys. I kind of want to find a Resenter. I think it would be cool. But I don't know how hard it is to do. We quick scope? We quick scope? Okay, that wasn't zoomed in enough. Quick scope? Boom. Quick scope? Boom. Oh my god, he's still got the Call of Duty in him. You can take the player out of the Call of Duty, but you can't take the Call of Duty out of the player. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, look, it's another George GT. Dang. Okay, that's 
just embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. They might have taken the Call of Duty out of the play there for uh, just a moment. Just a moment. Is there another... Wait, did you guys just see another otter? There's another otter. I'll go... I'll go look. Um... I don't think we need to stick around and try to find a Resenter because, you know, we can encounter it in the mining dimension. Oh, it's a turtle! Look at the turtle! I like turtles. Hey, buddy! Would you like to join me at, at home? Would you like to join me? I think he would. Wait, did you guys say, um, you were thinking about the otters? Do I actually have the otter cam on me? Oh, shoot, I must have left it at home. Okay, he wants to join me. He wants to join me, guys. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to call Lauren really quickly in order to catch a ride back, but, um, we should- Lauren's car operates really fast, really quickly, so just give me one moment to dial up Lauren. Lauren's ride, uh, did wonders for us, and we have made it back home in a jiffy. In a jiffy right there. You'll love to see it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're bringing you back. We're bringing you back, buddy. We're gonna make it. Um, hold on. I gotta do that. And I gotta... I gotta... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Get him in. Okay, and then... Don't go down the hole. Don't go down the hole. And then how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Um... We gotta... We gotta probably nudge him on. Probably, like, give him a little nudgerino. No. Okay. Um... If I do... That. No, no, no. You gotta stay there. Stay there, buddy. Nope! Buddy. I need you- I need you on point. I need you on point right now. Okay, and... Down we go. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. We're doing great. We're doing great. We're gonna get you in the sanctuary. We're gonna get you in the sanctuary. And you're gonna join the rest of the group. Come here. We're on the home stretch. Let's go! The otters are all here. I'm sorry, guys. I had to. I had to travel far away for a little bit there. I had to travel far away, but I'm glad that we've all stuck around. We've made it. Things are good. You got your water in there. I need to get the cam thing because I forgot. I forgot about the camera monitor. I should always have that just so I can. I can see. Let's empty out our inventory. All right. We could tome up the 29 levels. And there we go. Pop that on into the boiler, because it's winter time. All right, guys, so, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We've got to do, we gotta do the thing, all right? We've gotta make the precursor. So Formula X, we have the research book. We need some water, we need honey. God, where are we gonna generate a lot of honey? I mean, I guess we only need one, but still, is honey something we can find in the lab? I don't know that there are any bees out there. Um, shoot. Oh, you're right. I did say that I was going to hit up a military base, uh, a new one, now that the spawns are working properly so that we could see the full, um, the full effect. Wait, I actually do have to go and... Oh, no. I actually do have to find bees and harvest bees that way? Oh, dang. Wow, I did not realize. Okay, guys. Well, we might still have a little bit of work cut out for us in that case. If we genuinely have to go and find bees and harvest um, that way. The old-fashioned way, even. Cartley, thank you for the 500 bits. Very much appreciated. So, I think we should probably... Let's get some silk. Do I still have silk touch? We'll try to find a hive. We'll have to silk touch it. Bring it back here. And just set up, like, campfires and stuff in order to get honey. Um, if it's the old-fashioned way, and one of the things in the lab isn't actually just full of honey that we can easily grab. You can spawn a bee nest if you plant flowers next to a tree. Hmm. We can hedge our bets. And we can do that. We'll grab, we'll, uh, we'll grow a couple here. And do we have any bone meal? We do. It's cold though, will they? Okay, they do grow year round, but will the bees be like frigid? And sad? Because it's so frigid out? I don't want that. I don't want the bees to be sad and cold. Hmm. Could be bad. 
We'll see. All right. Uppies. 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 Goodbye. Farewell. Um, if I was going to plant a tree, where would I do it? Maybe out a little bit? Goodbye. Don't interrupt my bees. Do not interrupt my bee beekeeping. This is sacred, okay? Leave my bees alone. Maybe I'll do it here. Get nosked. Bucko? Is there another wood? Wait. Where's the other wood that's keeping this all together? Oh, there it is. Goodbye. See you later. Okay, so... Flowers around... That is not a tree that is going to work, I don't think, for a beehive, is it? That is way too... It's, like, way too short. Um... It's gotta be one block high flowers as well, so... Let me grab these. Yeah, like, how is it... How are you gonna give me that tree? And be like, here, this is fine. It's like, no, this is not fine. There's literally no room for a beehive to happen. Here, okay? That's kind of ridiculous that you would be okay with that. Kind of ridiculous. I'll try the birch tree. So I go to work under the birch tree. And I make myself tons of B and T. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully this will bring out the bees. Um, dude, birch trees actually have a higher chance of it happening. I didn't know that, so, um, I could get another birch sapling if we want to do it again. I just need to go get a little bit more flowers. Where are they located? If oh, it happens when the tree grows. I mean, how am I going to leave other side playing? That's not fair. Yeah, 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 I have a spawn with a tree. I've actually never, I've actually never grown a tree into having a beehive before, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, but let's see, let's see. I, get, I mean, we have bones for forever, pretty much. But the problem is, like, do I really want to go and do this in perpetuity, or would I? Oh, for, would I prefer to simply? Um, Wait, is it a one in a thousand? Is it genuinely a one in a thousand chance? Because if it is, I'm gonna go freaking find a beehive somewhere else. Because that—that's just—that is not—that is not how I'm gonna be spending my time. One in a thousand chance. Good God, it's not that rare. Okay. I mean, I'm—I'm I'm like, we could go explore. If it's just going to be tricky and we're going to be doing that over and over and over, there's no problem in doing a little bit of exploration, you know? 5% chance according to Google. Oh. Okay. Well, Google would never be wrong about something like that, so we'll give it a few more tries. Although I don't know at what amount of flowers does it start to, like, think about it. But, yeah, I guess I'll just get them all close as possible. I'm doing a, doing a summoning circle. Oh, please, great be God, bless us with your presence. Please, oh, great beehive, I wish for you to respect the flowers that I have put around you. I have created this masterpiece just for you. Oh, great be God. Please be good to me. I respect the bees. I know they are of such great value to the environment. And they should be protected at all costs. There it is. There's the bees. We got the bees. Oh my God. He's got a little, he's got a little sweater. Look at this guy. Look at him with the sweater on and everything. That's so cute. Okay, let me put a fence around it. Just I don't think the zombies would be I don't even I don't think even the zombies would be heartless enough to go for the bees, but just in case we will protect them. Um and hopefully this will generate a bit of honey. Uh 
Blossom, blossom. Do we got more blossom? We do. And do we have more uh, sticky poos? We have a little bit of sticky poo. There we go. Very good. I do not have any dirt, actually. One moment. Let me fetch a little bit. <laughs> just I just stabbed the dirt out of the ground. Crazy. Oh, a bee cam. A bee cam is actually such a good idea because then we'll be able to check wherever we are if honey is available. Oh, that's such a good idea. I love it. A cam is my eyeballs, and the B cam is here. There we go. That's beautiful. Oh, are the chunks force loaded? No, I suppose they are not. I suppose they are not. So let me do that. Let me force load that as well. Actually, you might not need to. Depending upon how it, I think I think yeah, well, I won't break the fourth wall on how the cameras actually work, but um we probably don't actually need to force load. Uh campfire will damage. Well, yeah, that's why I I put a glass over the campfire cuz, you know, I'm not going to let the campfire actually damage the bees. I've learned from my mistakes in the All Advancement series where I'm pretty sure that's why our bee Honey production didn't go super well. Um, but there's no need to talk about that. There's simply no need to talk about that. Let him cook. Whoa, health and water chapter complete. No way, all I had to do was make a campfire? And we 100%ed that? Health and water? Wow, look at us. Look at us. We 100%ed steel. I mean, you know, the bullet automation, we did a good bet. Honestly, I feel pretty stoked with our bullet automation setup. I think we did basically everything that was necessary in order to get it to a good place. All right. Oh, yeah, there's another bee. Let's go. Okay, I hope that you guys enjoy your time here. Let me do that. And then we put down the old campfire Eno, and there we are, bonfire lit. Don't you get near my bees. Don't you poison my bees. Get the frick back! Don't touch him! Unbelievable, he thinks he can walk in here and blow his pollution into my beehive? How dare he do such a thing? Okay, yeah, camera, 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 camera. Let's get the, wait, I don't have a camera. Um, Hold on, how do I make one? I can make, okay. That looked expensive, but as it turns out, we're all good. I used the only diamond thing and wow, okay, that was a really expensive craft rather than just going and looting one elsewhere, but yeah. Pipe honey into a create tank so you don't need it. Oh, can you actually create pump honey out of a beehive? No kidding. No kidding. Does that actually work? Oh, okay. Oh god, in order to do that though, do we have any um I'm trying to think, what's our best way of getting some freaking stress? Uh, what is our best way that we're going to get stress, though? We'll do A to that. Um, pump. We got a pump. Am I going to, like, do I do a water wheel, or do I just root the existing stress that I have over there? Yeah, I'll just do a water wheel. I'll, one water wheel to pump it, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Um, where are you at? Mate, where are you at? Easy way would be engine and thermogen. Um, yeah, I don't know that it would produce enough to sustain itself, though, would it? Do I have an engine? I'll check. I haven't actually done that before, so just for the sake of variety, it could be interesting. We don't have the engine. Um, I also don't think I... Ugh! I also don't think I have a... Are we JEI? Uh, JEI synchronized. Engine... Engine, engine, where is it? Excuse me. I don't see it. 
Which one is it? It's prob. Oh, is it? It's motor, not engine. It's motor. Oh, the electric motors. Those bad boys. Those bad boys. Now I remember. Um, but I don't actually think I have a thermo. So that's a slight issue. Um, you know, I was gonna make a trip over to the wasteland anyway to go do some stuff. So maybe we could we could do that. Maybe we could just take a quick trip over to the old wasteland arena. And by the way, how are we doing on um, water skins? We've got one of you, two in there. I don't, like, Wasteland will still be hot, right? Wasteland's still gonna be hot. So do that. Let me just get this set up, and then we'll go and, and hit up some stuff in the Wasteland, including military base, now that we've got some um, serious, uh, uh, not firepower. I do have serious firepower, but we're also going to have some serious problems to deal with, probably. I can make a thermo, but it's kind of expensive to do. So, um, I guess we could just run what we could do here. Oh, wait. When's the next horde, actually? I think it's going to be soon. Let me check the calendar quick before I something sketchy. Oh, three days. Okay, so we're fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the beehives. Don't worry. I'm putting up the bee cam. I'm putting up the bee cam. So what we're going to do, I suppose, we could just, um, what do we want to, where do we want to put this? I like how the water skin actually makes me, like, too toasty now, somehow. Um, let's do, get away from my bees. Get away. You get away from my bees. Okay, so we can do this. I guess I could just make it four tall. Something like that. And then we do... Um, I guess I'll need a... I'm going to need some pipes, but... Do this. Dumb. Idiot. You stupid idiot. There we go. And I get a couple of pipes. And then I guess um, I could just put the motor right on the cog, basically. And be good. Oh my god, the honey is already happening? Wait, that's actually crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, so we do that. And then we'll do basically like thermogen there. Don't you do don't you do that? So do that. And then um I mean, I could do a water wheel for now. Should I set up a water wheel just so, like, we're at least doing it for the... Wait, 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 wait. I've just realized. We're out of the chunk. We're out of the chunk. Oh, no. I gotta do this set. I gotta do this in the chunk. Otherwise, it's gonna be fricked. It's gonna be fricked if it's not in the chunk. Um, I guess I'll just do it here, then. Do that. That'll fill it up. That'll be good. And then, mm, okay. I could just <laughs> small windmill. The world's tiniest windmill. Uh, that would be kind of funny, actually. But I don't know if I have enough resources to do it. Let's see. I think it'd be kind of funny though. Like, you know, do like a do like an eight sail windmill next to it. A little, a little rotational. Um, What's it called again? Chassis, radial chassis. Actually, I think I have one of those. And then the windmill bearing. Easy. Perfect. Yeah, teeny windmill, teeny windmill until we get the electric motor. I would like to see um, how the electric motor will do. So, um, okay. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting. So, wait, how how am I gonna wanna how am I gonna set this up? I guess we're just gonna do windmill bearing. This is gonna be the world's teeny tiniest windmill. This, this is gonna be so funny. Um, be boop, boop, and then boop, frick. And then we're gonna have a we're gonna have the cogwheel coming out the back, and then um this 
What do you mean they'll be trapped? The bees can't exit? Oh, freaking heck. Oh, man. Everything is so difficult, dude. Everything is so difficult. You're so right. They're gonna... I gotta put it behind. I gotta put it behind. Man. Oh, man. Try that again. Frick off, goats! Get me out of here! God dang! I was stunned by the goat! And it's obnoxiousness. Alright, I should do it here. Cool. And then... Oh, I could have self-touched the hive. That's true. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. So, windmill bearing. Boom. And then... You, the world's tiniest windmill in the world, frick. If you guys would just stop. No. Stop. There we go. And, oh wait. And, boop. Guys, it's working! It's working! It's working very slowly, but it's working! I have created the world's fastest windmill! It is pretty cute, though. Oh, hey! Actually, we've got all the honey that we needed in order to do the thing, didn't we? I think we do. Well, anyway, let's head over and check out the old military base, and then I think... I also need to get seed oil, which is in the laboratory. The laboratory has, oh yeah, the camera. You're so right, I gotta put the bee cam out, even though we now actually have all the honey that we need, but sure thing, sure thing. We'll do, um, we'll make sure everything is in order out here, you know, and uh, will that be good? Maybe one higher. Frick. Wait, does that work? I put it when I accidentally misclicked it. Where's my monitor? Did I put my monitor back again? Do I keep doing this? I keep throwing my monitor back in the system? Monitor, yes, there it is. Okay, cool. Oh no, I can only equip 30 cameras. How am I gonna deal with this? Look! There they are! Um, can you actually, wait, can you look around? Oh yeah, you can pan up. Ow? Ow? What the heck? Leave me alone! Um, okay. Very cool. We've, we've got our, we've got our bee set up. Um... You can see yourself on the camera. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's keep that in the old backy-packy. And, um, I guess we'll head off to the wasteland. We'll check out the military base with full zombie spawnage. Our BMG is good. Shoddy I could put to use here. The Lapupu is also in a good spot. So I think altogether, maybe we'll just, um... Okay, do we have a hot water? Okay, we have a hot water skin, but we'll take these three here, put them in. Bit of seasonal change, I guess. And, um, guys, I don't think we need grenades, to be honest. I think if we gotta do any kaboomskis, we've got the RPG. So, I'm feeling like that's probably good enough. Uh, okay! Hopefully I won't blow myself up, because that would be embarrassing. If <laughs> that's how this episode went. Right on. Um, we drive. We drive to the wasteland. It's it's totally a thing I would do, though, is blow myself up, like, kind of 100%. Uh, Carly, thank you for gifting a sub, by the way. Very much appreciated. Very cool. Very swick. I should pick something up. I should pick something up. Okay. Alrighty. 
how are we doing on fuel? Pretty good, right? 87% fuel. Very nice. Um, yeah. How did you... Okay. How did this guy get down here? How did you get down here? How did you do that? That's not okay. You can't be in my subway. My subway is a safe sanctuary for me. And me alone. And nobody else. Unless there's other people here during the apocalypse. In which case, you know what? They can check out the subway if they would like. Um, but no, no zombies. No zombies allowed. Watch for otters. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I've never hit an otter before in my life. Hmm. All right, so we made it. I mean, I guess I don't necessarily need to dip into the lab here. I could just... The blood moon rise. Oh, God, the blood moon rises. Oh. Well, isn't that just great? Isn't that just great? So uh, this is the military base I did, I'm pretty sure. However, there is another one that is down there. And now that the spawns are fixed, that bad boy should be looking nice and scary. Also, if I wanted to get a thermo, then I could do that. I could get a thermo in here real quick. I already grabbed the thermo. I think I already looted these for the thermos, didn't I? Um, classic me. Classic me trying to get a thermo to power the motor, and, and I looted those ones specifically. Okay, everybody. Can't sleep. Surely a military base in a blood moon is not a terrible idea. It's definitely not a terrible idea. I think the best way to go about doing this, probably, is going to be to just dive down, break spawners, and then loot, if I had to guess, which I'm not following right now. But, um... Okay, how are we looking? How are we looking? How the big man's going? Break the spawners. Break the spawners. Is nobody spawning? Nobody spawning? Hello? No military mans? Should be military mans. Oh, that's a... Uh, it's not a military man, but... Okay, we got some... Scary mans. It would be weird if it... Oh, I keep forgetting the hoe in order to get all the freaking gunpowder. Um, the spawn should be working because we were just far away at the 15k block range. And it was spawning zombies properly, so it would be strange if it suddenly didn't work properly. It would be very strange if it didn't work properly. Let's hope for the best here. I'm not seeing any guys in the suits, though, you know? Not seeing, okay, well, I guess I could grab these real quick. Can you just grab some gun pow pow? Because uh, ultimately, like, our goal is always the bottom floor, right? Hmm, hello? Anybody home? Are we, are we in military attire or anything? The spawns? We're working. What are the. I don't know what the, like, hood guys are. I'm not getting the military spawners, though. Hmm. Is there a chance that it's not the correct. Oh, I'm very thirsty right now. I haven't seen the chili guys spawning before, but hold on. Let me go back up. We could check the laboratory. That would be a that would be a telltale of if things are working or not. If I head over to the lab and we start getting like just destroyed real quick. Um, okay. Actually, wait a minute. We just saw some of the um, the wild animals. The wild animals are not supposed to be in the city. Now, I don't know if that's just because it was close to the outskirts, but let's check. Let's check real quick. Just make sure everything is in order. Almost stepped on a landmine. Classic. Classic me. Goodbye.
Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Anybody home? Um, so, it looks like in between, oh, you know what happened? This is on me. This is on me. This one's on me. This one's on me. This one's on me. I am infected. Uh, also, this one's on me. I know what happened here. I, I actually know exactly what happened here, and, and I'm hoping it didn't permanently bork the save until I send it over to Quans again, but yeah, that, this one's on me. Okay. Now, you see, what I did is that I had to, I left the save and came back after calling Lauren for the transport, and you can't do that. You can only load one game, one in, per instance, and then you have to restart. So, yeah. Okay, the reload fixed it. We got mining zombies, we got hazmat guys. So, all right, now, now we can do the military base and it should be working properly. But yeah, it's just any time that you quit, anytime you quit a save, you gotta, you gotta, oh my God, am I stuck in a freaking thing. Anytime you quit a save, you gotta come back, uh, reload the mod pack and try again. Okay, okay. Oh, here comes everybody. Here comes all, okay, the gang's all here now. Oh my God, hold on. Where is the military base again? It was uh, over here. Oh dear, oh dear, here's, here's everybody, here's everybody. Yeah, there's the military man. Oh, okay, you guys aren't supposed to be here, freaking wild animals left over from the previous load. Yeah, here's the blood moon, guys. Here's the old blood. Oh, he's behind me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh god. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm starting to. I'm starting to see what's going on here. Starting to see what's going on. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Uh, should I seal this up? I'm gonna seal the gates. Maybe that's a bad idea. But what do we have here? Military mans? Oh yeah, here they are. Oh yeah, here they are. We nosk them? I mean, that wasn't really a nosk, but... Okay. Yeah, we got ourselves an official military base infiltration with tons of blocks in my inventory coming to me that I don't need. Hey, you are standing in the firing range, so what do you expect? Come on. Safety out here. Very important. Boom. Filling up the old inventory real quick. All right. Okay. Uh, so bottom floor, bottom floor is the only one that we really concern ourselves with, I think. And they're probably stacking up down there while we go through here. Anybody? Do I just nosk my way through? The problem is gonna come when I have to reload. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Actually, these guys are norm- oh wait, they're not one-hitters. They're not one-hitters anymore. No, stream wasn't frozen. It was just- it was just me getting hit with a few th things I had to quickly respond to, is all. Oh, hi. Is there ammo in here? No, it's just gear. I don't think I need any more MREs. We've been pretty good on that. <laughs> this thing is amazingly good. Uh, it can work in close range. It can work in long range. It can work in just about any situation that you could ever want. What a great weapon. Goodbye. Oh, Blood Moon's over. Goodbye. Got any men now? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Everybody's. Oh, wait. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Just a moment. One second. Okay. 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 Whew. Three RPG down there, maybe. Hmm. 
let's try an RPG real quick. Whew. Hey guys. Ow. Oh, that hurt me a bit. That hurt. That's a little danger close. Oh, don't do that again. Okay. Uh, don't do that again. Get some get some more range away from the blast. Ow. That was pretty good. Oh god, that hurt me from that range. Jesus. I think we just gotta like keep switching sides basically. So we can take them down without getting too danger close. There we go. Nice. There we go. God, <laughs> this thing is sick. Are we clear? I think we're pretty okay, not not maybe entirely clear. You're very fast. Hey, question for those of you who are knowledgeable gun enthusiasts. Why, when you do a full emptying of the magazine, do you have to do, like, the thing where you slide the... You do, like, the slidey. The slidey thing, you know, on the reload? Instead of just there, when I wasn't fully empty, I didn't have to do the slidey thing. Oh, it puts around it. Got it, because it's empty, whereas otherwise you would have had a bullet sitting there when you replaced the magazine. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I should have I should have considered that. Goodbye. Add that to my sniper montage. Any other spawners? Are we good? Oh, there's definitely some over here. There's probably still. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. All right. There's definitely a Pergante down there trying to. Trying to. Oh, okay. All right. That's a few. That's a. Hold on. What's our play here? What's our play here? That. See, that area is entirely. Ow. Frick off. Ow. That area down there is very. Covered. I don't have a clear, easy shot in. That's the problem. I kind of have to like. Oh god, is it like two, it's like two blocks thick? Okay. I kind of have to figure out a plan here and not blow myself up. Okay. Okay. So I gotta like go down here. Oh wait, we gotta get the reload in. Gotta get the reload in, and then. My feet. They hurt. I keep hurting my feet. Oh, I'm scared of doing this, man. I'm scared of doing this. Because if I miss, I'm so fricked. Oh, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Done. We lure him over here. We lure him over here, and then. Maybe if I get rid of these, like, freaking crossbar things, that'll help. No, no, stop, stop. Is there another one? Okay. All right, here we go. So we lure him this way. We lure him over here. And then we'll have to just make sure to scope down. And... Okay. That worked pretty well. And then come over here, come over here. And then zoom, 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 and then crap! Ow, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. Ow! Ow! Alright, 
Let's do it! Easy game. Easy game. Let's go to you. Get rid of the spawners. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If there's a spawner in here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Nobody there anymore, huh? Nobody there anymore. Anybody in here? That's took a lot of ammo. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, we cleared it. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. That was like, that was pretty straightforward. That was pretty straightforward work right there. That was not, oh yeah, break him now. True, true. God, see the problem is that wait, how did you get in my offhand? Oh no, it's all fricked. It's all completely fricked. Um Okay. What are you where are you what are you got? What is this? Ow. Oh freaking mining zombie, dude. Okay, let me take something here. Just clear some stuff in there since I'm not gonna be breaking that, and then I can throw all the Random stuff. I guess I can do that. Keep those in the locker. Okay. Now we should be able to... Should do it a little bit better. Okay, cool. Oh, these things too. Quick. Why does it seem like it's... Oh, you just don't see the stuff that, that comes out of the chest when you loot it. It's kind of weird. But anyway, okay. This works. This works. We're good. Oh, it's because it's a looter chest. That's why. I hope it's not breaking the loot out of it. Are you freaking... So, I actually don't think these chests, I think I just wasted all of the ammo that was in those chests. I think it just straight up broke them rather than giving me the stuff and that's why we weren't seeing what was inside. So yeah, that was a, that was a mistake. So you don't want to break the chest, that was an oopsie. Oh, this stuff though, I this is all the guns and stuff, so no, I don't want to just break these. I want to see if they have anything good in particular. All right, we're looking for the old extendo mag or a better a better scope even would be cool. Uh, SWAT leggings are good, I guess, just in case we ever did happen to die. Otherwise, I think we pretty much have all the stuff that we need. Muzzle compensator, sure. Specialized grip. Muzzle brake. Bomb squad helmet, I think we have that. I just want the super duper extendo mag. It's such a bummer that we just can't seem to find that. Super duper extendo mag is too much to ask. Oh, old scope. I think old scope doesn't work. We are simply never going to find the big extendo mag. It's so sad. It's the only thing that we are really lacking out of all of the these things. Wait, my scar is in the locker? Oh god, I didn't just do that, did I? Oh god, wait. Hey guys, that's my scar right there. That's definitely not something I want to just leave behind. <laughs> Oops. 
Okay, so this stuff, I have to I have to manually loot the chest, but I can break the racks. But the chest at least can be middle mouse clicked, so it's a lot quicker anyway. Yeah, that was a bit of an oopsie. Bit of an oopsie moment. Yeah, I'm glad somebody noticed that. Goodness for the magnet. And then just boom, boom. I don't even know what I'm getting. I'm just getting it. Yep. Huge. A lot of ammo. Oh, of course an intoxicator has decided to show up to the party. Okay, so. Yeah, we did it. Oh, Jesus. Are there a bunch of... Oh, God. Have, have a bunch of guys just started spawning... A bunch of guys have just started to... Okay, okay, that's great, that's great. I'm gonna be a little careful here because they can just pop in and hit you in the head. Not today, buddy, not today, uppies. Oh god. Huh, oh, okay. A few guys, just a few guys. I gotta get to the stairs and extract evac. Okay, we made it. Oh god. Oh, that's not actually where I wanted to be, like at all. I like how those those guys like fold up. What am I getting? Jeez, I'm getting hurt by something. Ow. Who? What is hurting? Am I bleeding? What is going on? Whew. Okay. We made it back. We made it back. We are all good. <laughs> Can I extend them? You guys, if you haven't seen the extendo mag, it's a it's a funny bit. It's a funny bit. But uh, the answer to your question is it's not very effective. Ow! Who did that? How do I get lit on fire just now? Oh, I opened the secret room, but I didn't mine any of the blocks. Uh, that's my bad. But also, I kind of have enough. I kind of have enough, guys. You're right. It was it was silly, but I okay. Not into that. By the way, where is the intoxicator so I don't just get like smushed from behind? I'm not seeing him. Frick you! Oh God! Ow! I right needed a razor wire. Huh. Oh no, not like this. Oh god. Okay. So I do actually need to. I'm. I wonder if this is a better laboratory to go into to try to get seed oil. The other thing is, I don't actually know for sure how I am meant. I keep doing this to myself. I don't know for sure how I am meant to get the seed oil. You know, what's really cool about the wasteland in the winter, actually, is the fact that um, it's like the cold and the heat seem to balance each other out. So I'm at zero heat when it's nighttime on the surface, and it's not moving. Uh, so that's kind of convenient. So... Okay, yeah, I guess the question is, are there, are there any tanks that I can just click on in order to fill? Okay, you're annoying. Oh, Duraplast? Duraplast is good. Seed oil is not hard to make at home. Yeah, but also just think about if we were able to yoink some from the laboratory, how convenient that would be. Although I might not have anything necessary on me to make that happen. Oh god, this dude. Oh, freaking this guy. Oh god, that guy. He's down. 
Oh no, it's the ah, oh, it's the freaking pig dude. He's so annoying. How did the stairs just get broken? Did the mining zombie break the stairs? What an idiot. Oh my god, there are a lot of guys down there. Oh my god. I actually have to be kind of careful. Ah, yeah, 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 I fricked up completely with the... Oh, god darn it. Bro, it's the freaking stupid explodey guys that are just so annoying because they just spew items into your inventory. They just spew items everywhere into your inventory. It's just the worst. Oh, is there a gapple crate in there? And that's not a gapple crate, that's a tater crate. Stop! I gotta take I gotta take off the magnet. The magnet's not happening right now. The magnet is a detriment to society. Here they come. blows everything up. It's so dumb. Please stop this. Alright. Alright, we're good. Oh, I think I gotta take the dude down. Also, I think we might be one day to hoard. So, bro, there are so many zombies happening that we are actually starting to lag. I gotta take, I gotta take out the pig dude. Where is he? Wait, he's not out there anymore? Where has he gone? He's destroying every, oh, there he is. Dead, dead so fast, so fast. Oh, you love to see it. Please kindly stop. There's the gang, the gang's all here. Guys, so, uh, the lab, the lab is, the lab is something, man. Got any, you know, chests anywhere? Got any toilets I can just throw my stuff into real quick? Maybe I can just dump some stuff real, real quick. Dude, I, the, what I'm worried about is, like, it's just, I come down here and, and then... I mean, it's like, it's everybody, right? The heck is this? Can't go up. Help! Please! Oh my god, I can't place blocks down. Maybe we should bring in the uh, AA-12 real quick, possibly. Get it reloaded. I know, the, I know, the problem is like, if I stay around longer, it gets worse, but also, like, what can I do? Oh, okay, it's actually, uh, okay, it's actually unplayable. It's actually unplayable. Dude, I, I, oh my god, I can't be in there. Okay, I can't be in there. 
There's too many. It's straight up too many spawns. It's straight up unplayable. Wow. Okay. Alright. Starting to think um, that we may need to go and make seed oil ourselves. Because yeah. That ain't working for us. That ain't working for us. Oh god. I cannot contend with that. Either that or we need to go back to the other laboratory that we kind of already like cleared out a bit. I think that might be the better way. We just go to our first lab and should be better for us. Whew. I gotta find a place to drop some stuff in though. Surely we've got a chest in here or something, right? Actually, we don't. But what I can do is I can just throw all this junk into here. Good. Okay. Great. Let's just switch to peaceful. In a sense, that's kind of what we were accidentally doing for a little bit. It was like we were playing on peaceful mode, man. All right, over here. Subway entrance here. Don't you dare follow me down. Uh, Firestar Clash, thank you for the 50 months and Speedy Wombat, 1,000 bits. Oh my god, he's resistant. And on the train tracks. <laughs> It's so funny that when they come down here, they just get glued to the train tracks. I love it. <sighs> Guys, we should check on the otters. Let's make sure everything is good in in Otterland, okay? And no zombies are going to hit me, right? Hey, look. The otters are doing great. Where's the turtle? Where's the turtle? Where's the turtle? Guys, why, why is the turtle not here? <laughs> why am I cursed for animals? Ah! It's under the camera, right? He's under the camera. No. <laughs> the kill hole. <laughs> this can't be happening, dude. This can't be happening. Uh, okay, how do I get out? I left just did. Dude. How about the bees? The bees are probably fine, right? Otters will eat turtles in real life? Hey, we've definitely got more honey. The honey is filling up. The bees just probably aren't out. It's probably a little chilly for them, but, um... Why did it... Why is the turtle dead?! What did I, I don't know what I did? What did I do? I didn't do anything. I loved it. I put it in the, I put it in the great enclosure that I had created, and now it's dead. Why is it dead? Can you stop abducting animals just to drown them in a few inches of water? God. He couldn't have died. It's a, it's a slab worth of what? They're waterlogged slabs. There's literally no way. Okay, you cannot be doing this. What? It's it can't. It can't. There's no way. Guys, that that one's not on me. That one's not on. That one's a that one's a despawn. That one is definitely a despawn and not on me. Like, a hundred percent. The turtle was not too short. It did not drown in the slab of water. That's actually just not even possible to do. <laughs> I'm just trying to rescue the animals from the apocalyptic world and 
I don't know why this keeps happening. It doesn't, it doesn't line up with my intentions. Speedy Wombat, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hi, Sparkles. I've been watching you for a while. Love your content, especially one block and the random games you play. Keep the content. Uh, what is your opinion of the Camaro SS? Don't really have one, um, admittedly, because I, I, oh, God, did I go one tunnel too far? I went a tunnel too far, guys. Um, but yeah, I don't really have one. I've never driven any Camaros, actually. So, yeah, but hopefully it's good and fun. I've killed seven pets this month. No, 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 no. That's wrong. I haven't done that. I haven't done that. I've... They have simply... They've despawned, which is just tragic, but I can't do anything about it when they despawn. Because it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Ukami Spirit, thank you for the 40 months. Gay resub time. Had to jump through hoops uh, this time because Twitch Prime decided to... Wait, am I going the right place? I am going, okay, yeah, 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 I'm going the right place. Uh, I had to jump through hoops this time because Twitch Prime decided to break on me, stupid Twitch Prime. Well, I'm glad that you got it working. That's very, very cool, and thank you very much. My intentions are pure, and I will not accept any other explanations Sam J. Solder, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Let's empty this. Okay, check if the turtle was simply hiding. Yeah, guys, the turtle is just hiding over here. See, the turtle is just hiding. Just being a very, don't you see the turtle? It's just right over there, just, just hanging out over there. He's still very much alive. I don't know why anyone thinks that the turtle didn't didn't make it, but the turtle definitely made it, and um, it's very, very doing great, doing very, very great, uh, and and stuff. I don't have any more thermal. No, I I looked that up. Um, it's very sad. It's a very sad thing that has taken place, and I don't, I don't, man. So anyway, guys, honey, honey has happened. Seed oil. We do still need to actually head back to the close lab that has the illuminated portal because part of what I do want to do is I want to get all of the boss uh, challenges done. So we have four rat kings, three resenters, and three human herders that we still have to take down in order to get 100%ed on all of the bosses. And then beyond that, we got to make some seed oil, which I think is pretty easy. You just have to throw like some stuff in the what should we call it in the squeezer so squeezer yeah throw seeds in the squeezer and you're kind of popping off on seed oil slash plant oil and then we can just root that into the deployer setup so yeah can't believe this happened uh what are we looking at for horde horde's coming tonight horde's coming tonight so I guess we'll start off the uh, next episode, which may be the finale. We'll see with a bit of Final Horde action. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in to another episode. Make sure to like the video. Uh, subscribe to Captain Sparkles 2. Follow twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles if you want to catch more. And um, playlist if you missed any episodes. And I will see you next time.